one and all, this is the Peace Dealer. I'm out here at Red Rock Canyon. It's beautiful out here. The birds were chirping. Uh, the sun is shining. The wind is blowing. The earth is grounding. And I'm feeling great. So I'm gonna be talking about this upcoming eclipse that we are going to have come cancer season next month, but more so the power bestowal, the karmic power bestowal that is occurring right now as we speak. Mars is in cancer as it slowly but surely conjuncts the North Node. And the whole purpose of this North Node transit is to reinforce and transform the nature of your energy signature evidenced through a deepening sincerity based on an emerging authenticity within you however this is aided with supernatural powers that are being literally unlocked from the depths of your being no big deal you just have to really ask yourself deep inside how willing are you to be 100% honest with how you feel and with who you are at your core. What has triggered this to start activating surprisingly, or I guess not so surprisingly, is Mercury. As soon as Mercury entered Cancer, this is where we can now process the power bestowal that is occurring. This power bestowal, and when I say power bestowal, everyone around the whole world is being bestowed with supernatural power. Power bestowal is the act of, of bestowing power on another, of giving power. However, this isn't necessarily like you just receiving power from the heavens. We had this last year when the South Node was in Aquarius and we gained cosmic strength and knowledge beamed to our hearts. So based off of that, this power bestowal isn't coming from the sky. I mean, it might for some of you, but it's coming from your bones. It's coming from the DNA that is intrinsically making up of, of every bit and parcel of who you are. In other words, I'm saying it's an inside job and the nature and quality of the power that's bestowed is fully influenced by what you're working with. And so I'm gonna really help you understand how to more or less know to a degree what and how this is gonna affect you. I'm not gonna go too much into specifics as much as I'm going to uncover uh, tips and techniques for how to know at least the nature of what's going on. So if we can once again uh, reestablish what's occurring Mercury and Mars are transiting through cancer by June 15th in a week from now as Venus is in Gemini opposite you know beginning to be opposite uh, Jupiter and Sagittarius Mercury and, and Mars are going to be conjunct opposite Saturn and Pluto retrograde on the south node and so this is going to take the intensity and total authoritative power, Pluto and Saturn, of the South Node, which is the unlocking energy of your greatest power, and it's going to fuel and pipeline this to your drive, desire, and your mind. Taking these outer planets and extra dimensional energy and having you harness this directly through the vehicle of your emotions. I say your emotions are a vehicle because cancer is a cardinal forward moving action sign evidenced by the chariot, the only tarot card that dis directly signifies a car is cancer. And that's because fuel and engine is water. It's, not, it's oil, right? But it's, it's the element of water and you need that to keep moving forward. Now it's not the only element that goes into driving because you need earth to, to be in something physical, but this is phenomenal because latent abilities that you've had for your whole life are going to be now unpacked 
at its highest level. Some of you have already had Powers Awaken. Some of you will be awakening it for the first time. Now let me tell you why it's specifically an activation and awakening. The awakening is Pluto. Judgment in Tarot, awakening, Pluto. And the power's not only being awakened, but it's being activated and set with Saturn. Saturn is the world in the Tarot. So we're taking an awakening to your highest purpose and complete success that is connecting with the south node energy of you we could say ancient past life gifts and talents but more so this is the unlocking energy this is what is karmically unlocking everything and so this is why you want to look to where capricorn and cancer are in your chart what house are they in and what aspects do they make with relevant planets because this is going to indicate very greatly the nature of how to know a little bit of what your power bestowal is if you would like more specifics and details i highly recommend that you schedule a consultation with me or you get an astro report and in the notes just write in hey let me know how this karmic energy is going to affect or you can get an eclipse report where i, I specifically go more into eclipses the reason why we're all going through this power bestowal is because we're stepping out of the 2020 portal and this is to prepare humanity to be able to harness vibrations and manipulate energy at a much more conscious level instead of subconscious to prepare us for aliens but let me not say it like that to prepare us for higher vibrational living and and actually connecting with higher vibrational entities actually reaching higher on this mountain peak but Remember, this isn't North Node in Capricorn, so your destiny isn't to climb the top of the mountain. Their destiny is to come from the peak of the mountain and to go to the depths of the ocean to build greater depths in your soul. Okay, so with that in mind, this is going to bestow supernatural power in order for your physiology to connect with your psychology. Okay, so that you can literally emerge and express this. So this is where those of you with generational aspects, like those of you born 89, 90 with Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, opposite Jupiter and Chiron, your specific soul group, our specific soul group, is getting triggered the most. Other such notable soul groups, I would say, are, you know, Pluto and Scorpio, um, and any, I mean, Pluto and Capricorn aren't really born right now, but any of you who have personal planets in Cancer and Capricorn, those personal planets are going to let you know what influences are going to activate this. For example, Jupiter. If you have Jupiter in Cancer, it's going to expand this. If you have Saturn, it's going to control this more, okay? So depending on the planet, we'll let you know the, the nature more so of how this expansion is going to occur. Another thing I have to say, though, is the purpose of this karmic power is going to guide you further along your destiny. So you need to know where the North Node is in your chart to know the purpose of this power being bestowed. You're not really just being bestowed this power for no reason. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to know where your moon sign is. Because this is happening in Cancer, the ruling planet of Cancer, or not planet, but the ruling luminary and energy with Cancer is the moon. So look at that ruling energy. And depending on where the moon is in your chart, natally and progressed, will let you know the nature and quality of how you're going to be able to access this power bestowal. So if you have your moon in a cardinal sign, this power you'll be bestowed is more forceful, action-oriented power that moves you forward and, and actually denotes like the utilization of strength and power. If your moon is in a mutable sign, the power you're going to be bestowed is magical abilities, magical power that allows you to alter experiences and the perception of things. If your moon is in a fixed sign, this power that's bestowed on you is going to give you extra strength. You're going to be able to draw from energy sources. Of course, depending on the element of this moon, it will let you know if you're drawing energy towards from the earth, Aquarius from the cosmos, Scorpio from the water, or Leo from the solar light sources or fire. Same with cardinal and mutable. The element will let you know what element through which you express this power. Next thing you want to look at is what is the ruling planet that rules the sign that your moon is in. This is going to let you know how this power bestowal and nature of your power is influenced and where it's directed. For example, 
I have Jupiter on Chiron in Cancer at the epicenter of where this eclipse is going to be. Okay, if you're born 1990, pay attention because y'all got this too. And some 89 and, and uh, uh, 90, not so much 91 because they're Jupiter and Leo, but not all of 91 though. But the ruling planet, of course, of Cancer or the moon is in Capricorn for me. Okay, Capricorn's an Earth sign. Um, this is easy because Capricorn's the other side of the node. So this is directly impacting me. Oh my goodness. Stay, stay, stay strong, you cap moons. Like it's not the easiest, but it, it's incredible. So this is why I'm in the mountains. Because Capricorn is a mountain, right? It's it's the power of Earth. And so being in the mountains around this time is going to heighten my sensitivity and it's going to help, you know, conducively affect this. Knowing the element of your moon will let you know whether you want to be around water, whether you want to be around Earth. But what's the ruling planet of Capricorn, Saturn. Where is Saturn? Ironically, it's actually next to my moon in Capricorn. So that lets me know the power I'm going to be bestowed is the power to more concisely and powerfully manipulate energetic currents, spiritual force manipulation, uh, just greater power boosts and enhancement that definitely allow me to be so much more psychic and step more into my purpose. And this is in my third and ninth house. It's in my second, third, eighth, and ninth house. So it has everything to do with transforming my philosophy and taking the resources of my beliefs to develop a new working attitude and to develop greater skills. Not surprisingly, I'm going to be going out into the mountains once or twice a week and recording freestyles and poems. That's one way in which I'm going to be bringing this power out. But there's so many different layers. Okay? I'm only giving you a surface level. Let's say you're a first house cancer, right? You're a cancer rising and your moon is in Aries. Um, and so the ruler of cancer of your chart is in the 10th house. All right. And Aries. And what rules Aries? Mars. Let's say you have Mars and Libra. So that means this power bestowal is going to enhance greatly the passion with which you can express your power out to the world. Because your ruling planet is in the seventh. You're going to be taking this power and focusing it towards others more intellectually. So there's, there's complex layers to this, but this is going to give you so you know, a little insight of what to expect and how this may play out. This power bestowal is no joke. With great power comes great responsibility. Great power is Capricorn. Responsibility is Saturn in Capricorn. So this is real. A lot of this is influenced by the sextile this is making to Uranus and Taurus, giving us the physical strength to handle this, all right, and not being unstable in Aries, which was just meant to build our base. A lot of you were wondering why you were so focused on base level chakra activities, shaming yourself because you kept indulging in what you labeled as bad habits or base level activity. The purpose of this was to extend your base, was to evolve your base and be so base that you, you, you create a, a better base form. And now you're, it's in Taurus, you can build off of that. Y'all stay blessed. When I say supernatural power, I do mean superpowers. This is it. And because we're in Gemini season, it's going to be with perceptual awareness. Bestow the power, and then we're going to enter Cancer season. Boom. The purpose of it will activate six months of developing it until we step out the 2020 portal. Please comment below how this is affecting you. Comment below the ruling planet of the sign that your moon is in and also um any planets you have in cancer and capricorn and until next time peace
pleasure. 